Hey, what's up cats and kittens and shout out to all my Cerebralites. It is me, the Cerebral Diva, and I'm back with another episode of In The Loop. Um, but before we get in the loop, do yourself a favor and while you're at it, do me a solid. Take a second to hit that subscribe button. And once you've done that, take another second to hit that tiny little bell so you can turn on your alerts and that way you will be kept in the loop. So we're gonna talk really quickly about Bill Cosby and this trial that's been happening. So most of you probably already know exactly what's going on, so I don't feel compelled to rehash or go through all the gory details of exactly why he's on trial. Anyhow, um, the jurors have been deliberating for several days, I believe five days it's been. They couldn't come to a decision, so ultimately the judge has declared it a mistrial. Now, you know what I find particularly interesting? Now, I am a, an advocate for women's rights. I'm a feminist, tried and true. Um, I believe in the power of, of a woman and I believe, you know, I, I typically side with a woman's position. And um, having said that, when you see what just happened down in Minnesota with the Philando Castile trial and the fact that the officer Geronimo Yanez once again was, was not, he was acquitted. And then you turn around and you see what's happening now with Bill Cosby and Miss Trial. I guarantee you, the same people who are celebrating the fact that Officer Yanez was not convicted will be completely up in arms about the fact <clears throat> that there was a mistrial, excuse me, in the Bill Cosby case. Now, one could ask, why is that? Like, I think back to the O.J. Simpson case, right? And how people to this very day harbor this this sense of resentment for the fact that O.J. Simpson was not convicted of Nicole Brown Simpson's death. Now, as a black person, I can say I 100% believe that O.J. did it. But at the same time, when that, that verdict came down and throughout the country we saw black people erupting in applause, and not because black people were excited to see someone get away with murder, but I think in that particular instance, black people were excited to say, maybe this will give them a greater sense of empathy. Maybe they'll see what it feels like to have injustice, and then moving forward, they will get it. But clearly they haven't gotten it because here we are in 2017, and we're still having the same problems. So when you see Bill Cosby walk away with a mistrial at, I don't know what, 70, he's geriatric age i believe I'm, I'm not sure exactly where he is but bill cosby is you know he's in his, his golden years right now so he's clearly not a threat to anyone anymore and not that that doesn't that absolves him from what he's done or allegedly done at this point because he hasn't been convicted so it's still allegedly um but he's 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 past his prime he's really not a quote-unquote threat to the community and so having him walk away to me makes me feel uh doesn't make me feel any less safe in the world, but having a person like Officer Yanez out and about in the world definitely makes me feel unsafe. Having people like George Zimmerman out in the world definitely makes me unsafe, feel unsafe. And so when people get upset about Bill Cosby not being convicted, just remember this is the sort of stuff that black people have to eat every single day. So welcome to the club. With that being said, I'm gonna get out of here. So you guys remember to like, comment, subscribe, subscribe excuse me and please share if you feel so inclined and if you want to leave a hateful comment please do so i'll just delete it and block you so you know so go right ahead if you want to do that um always people remember to follow me across all social media platforms facebook instagram snapchat and twitter remember to live better love harder and think smarter and remember it's better to be pissed off than it is to be pissed on have a great day